How are we doing? This is Full Burst Universe. Today we're going over Destiny's weapons. We're going over a, a pulse rifle archetype. One of my favorites, the low impact, high rate of fire archetype. We're going over what's the best one. Now, that's usually a pretty arguable question just because there's a lot of answers to that. Grasp of Malak was holding that position in year two. However, with the difficulty, how difficult it is to get now and how, diff how rare skeleton keys are, I honestly don't think it's that that great compared to what you could have, have what other stuff you could have such as the waltz waltz or the clever dragon and up, uh, up, an, up, un, and an upgraded the clever dragon is pretty good i mean it, there's nothing wrong with it stat wise and it usually get and it almost always gets a good roll i happen to get quite a bit from iron banner but what about the waltz future war cult's pulse rifle how much better is that one compared to a grasp of the lock. The waltz definitely doesn't have as great of stats, however, th there's something else to note about this, the waltz as well, how the perks can be laid out. About, because you can get stuff like armor piercing rounds, uh, I know you can get high calibers, I think of one of these two slots, and rangefinder is poss can possibly be a counterbalance. And we all know means Counterbalance on a pulse rifle on this kind of pulse rifle is pretty darn good. It's it's really very difficult to beat. It's just that's probably one of the best combination. I mean, probably a deadly combination with high caliber rounds just makes it a very difficult to deal with pulse rifle. While clever dragon stats are higher, or in general, well, just without any upgrades, upgrades, you also have the option of two other perks on the waltz it all different kinds of builds are possible here but you really it really just depends on what you get they're both pretty great guns in their own right but clever dragon you can only get during iron banner if and only if they have the vendor has it which they're probably not going to have it again which is the best one honestly i think it's clever dragon right now however that's just but that really does depend on the role you get, of course, as well, oh, and other things considered. But as for base stats, I take Clever Dragon hands down. I mean, we've, I mean, we can like show you that again. I mean, Clever Dragon clearly, at an unupgraded state, has better stats, better range, better stability, and better reload. It's just better than the Waltz when in terms of those raw stats. However, role-wise, it's a bit that's a bit more complicated. Because roll-wise, you never really know that's going to turn out. I mean, because all these guns are going to have different kinds of rolls, and Clever Dragon just often, just so happens to often come with counterbalance. You'll notice a lot of these have counterbalance, except for the distant start, nor that. Yeah, but it, but you'll notice many of, the, I mean, a handful of these do have counterbalance. So it's just not, it's just not a very, I mean, a handful of these do have the counterbalance perk. However, also some of them have rangefinder, not a bad perk either. But there's always the question, which is the best one? I've gotten high caliber rounds on one with rangefinder, but I've never been able to get high caliber rounds and counterbalance on one of clever dragon. Which I'm pretty sure that'd be an end all be all, probably one of your best rolls because of how much high caliber rounds can throw off your opponent's shots, especially when you're shooting at them. But this is just what I've come to the conclusion of. However, I mean, a lot of these roles could probably this could probably be a pretty debatable claim. So, what about y'all? What do y'all think you the best roles are on these weapons? And because honestly, I know high caliber rounds and counterbalance with perfect balance is probably to me is an ideal role on a, on a clever dragon. Up until Iron Banner hit, I really thought this was probably as good as I as I was gonna get. I'm apparently quite wrong on that front, as I could this slot could be high caliber, which is a pretty great roll if you can get it. And even the one, and the vendor one being sold was not even that great of a roll when you compare what I could have gotten. Life supports are great, don't get me wrong, but still you can get something even better. Than, but the high caliber rounds and counterbalance with perfect balance that's pretty hard to beat. But then again, that's not a god roll for everybody. 
So what do y'all think? What makes a clever dragon a god rule? Say so below down in the comments. If you like this video, if you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. We need feedback here. And without further ado, have a nice day.